Well, good evening to you. First tonight, a show of opposition at the Rhode Island State House to the president's major announcement this week that transgender Americans will no longer be allowed to serve in the military. Eyewitness News reporter Kim Kalunian was on Smith Hill today and has more now live in studio. Kim. Well, Jared, some of the speakers at today's rally say the gathering was about more than just protesting the president. It was also about spreading general awareness about the transgender community. Sanity, liberty, and quality for all. Making their voices heard. We wanted to hold it just as uh, to make as much noise as possible, just as a sign that we're not going to stay silent. Members of the transgender community and allies gather on the steps of the State House Saturday, protesting President Donald Trump's Twitter announcement, saying the United States government will not accept or allow transgender individuals to serve in any capacity in the U.S. military. This was about military readiness. This was about unit cohesion. This was about resources within the military. In my opinion, this is something much less about taxpayer dollars in a military ban and more so about scapegoating trans identities and trans people. CBS News reports there are anywhere from 1,300 to 15,000 transgender Americans in the military. C. Charles received a general discharge from the military police in 2011 after six years of service. With a lot of homophobia, a lot of transphobia. Charles was never told specifically if gender identity was the reason for the discharge, but says the ban is wrong. To generalize and to just say, oh, you can't do this because of this, you know? Not, not looking at the background, not looking at what the person has done, just for that simple fact, it's just not right. If a trans person feels that they want to go and serve for their country and possibly die for their country, they deserve that right. And it's still unclear exactly how or when this proposed ban would be put into place. Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News.